All right, guys. So no, I you guys been asking me for help with free shade and graphics packs and everything again. I'm gonna go through every little thing for you guys one last time. Uh, I'm gonna go through it all in this video. We'll start with free shade. And we'll go through graphics packs, skill effects, blood effects, sound pack, and all that shit. But we're gonna just go through this real quick for you guys. All right. First off, you want to download WinRAR here. Uh, makes things easier to open up in your downloads folder. So type of WinRAR on Google. Press download, and then uh, download and install that. For reshade, I'm gonna put this in the description down below, guys. Make I made this really easy on you guys. You just download this plugins folder and then you'll replace it. Uh replace the one in 5M with this one. So we'll go ahead and download that and do that now. Alright, we went ahead and we downloaded the plugins folder, so we're gonna go ahead and delete this. Um uh first off what you want to do is uh, open up your 5M application data. If you don't know how to uh right click uh 5M, open file location. Go ahead and just right click it and pin this to quick access. Makes it easier to open up for you guys. Uh, if you don't have it on your desktop or it's not working, just press, uh, type in run percent to local app data percent 5M application data. All right, so we're going to go ahead and delete the plugins folder, replace it with the new one. All right, we're going to open up 5M. You're going to get an error. If it doesn't uh, open up, reshade. You'll have an error in your F8, so you press F8, and you'll see this error right here. All right, to fix that, what you're going to do is you're going to type in quit. And I'm going uh, to link this down in the description down below for you guys, uh, the code to do this. But you're going to click on uh, Citizen FX to INI, and you're going to copy and paste uh, this in the description. So we went ahead and we copy and pasted. Um, actually, I did miss something real quick. Uh, then, uh, that, yep. So it's right here. Uh, re you'll delete these and you'll type in the ID that you had in F8. Something like that. So you go ahead and uh, save that. Open 5M. And now your reshade should be working. Skip the tutorial. If it's not working, uh, click this right here. Go to game and make sure this is unchecked. Now we're going to go ahead and set up a reshade preset and a crosshair. Make this easier for you guys. Let's go into uh, your plugins folder, new folder, type in reshade. All right, we'll go into the fuzzy discord and we'll go ahead and download uh, a reshade preset and a crosshair. We'll just do this one right here. One looks good. So we got that. Let's go ahead and get a crosshair. Uh, to figure out the size of the crosshair, but just in browser, 300 times 300. You want to pay attention to that. We're going to need that. So we'll go ahead and save this. Layer.png. Save the desktop. Minimize that. Okay. Open up your downloads folder. Main uh, one. Move that into your reshade. Go back here. For your crosshair, you want to go to reshade shaders, textures, replace uh, this with the new layer that you have. Replace that. Okay, we'll go into 5M again. Home. Uh, click reshade. Select that. If the crosshair doesn't show or if it's not um, right size, what you're going to do is uh, for layer to FX, reset all to default. Wait for that to load. Type in 300 for layer size X and use let this load and do the same thing for Y. If that was the size it showed in the browser. And as you can see, it's the size. It won't be like that for everyone. It's going to be uh, whatever the size is when you put it in browser is what it'll be. So we got it. If you only wanted to reach it in the crosshair, uh, you're good. And this is all you need. Then uh, that's all you need for that. Uh, next, we're going to go through uh, graphics pack, sound pack, uh, kill effects, blood effects, etc. All right, we're going to start with graphics packs here. So we'll go ahead and download this one right here. Uh, boom, we'll do this one. Open up that. It should come from, usually they either come with a citizens folder or just an RPF. If it's an RPF, it'll go in your mods folder. So go ahead and drag that in there. Uh, if it's in for the citizen folder, you right click citizen, delete that. And replace it with the new one. And then there's that. And that's your graphics pack. Uh, after that, um, we'll go to, uh, we'll do that one last. 
little bit of tracers for a trace that you want. Uh, if it comes with some of these will come with two files, it'll come with a tracer and a blood effects. If it does, you got to use them both together, or it won't work. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and look for a tracer that's just a single file and it's not um, two of them, like this one right here. We'll go ahead and use that one. Go ahead and move that into your mods folder. There's tracer. Next, we're gonna do kill effects and blood effects. We'll just go ahead and uh, look for a good screen flash here. Don't want to use the ugly ones. Go ahead and try that one. Like that. We'll do all that. And we'll do shock waves as our blood effects. Cause that one's just one file. It doesn't come with tracer. So we'll go ahead and use those. All right, for kill effects and blood effects, go into citizen, common, data, effects. Uh, so we don't have the shock wave, blood effects, move that in here. And we'll go back. Go to kill effect, go into time cycle, and you'll move time cycle four in there. All right, that's set up. Last thing we're going to need to set up is our sound pack. So we'll go ahead and go to sound effects. Okay. That. Go down with that. For sound uh, effects, you're gonna need to go into your GTA 5 folder. Uh, if you have it on Steam, you'll go to GTA 5 Manage Browse Local Files. Uh, I would go back a folder and then right-click that and connect the Quick Access. This makes it easier. If you have an Epic Games, uh, what you do is you go to library. Um, so we go into Fortnite because I have it installed. I don't have it in inst GTA 5 installed in this. So you'll go to uh, GTA 5, three dots, go to manage. Click this right here and open up your folder. So in, in your GTA 5 folder, go to time 64, audio, SFX. Open up this. We'll drag both these files in here. All right, that's in there. All right, and now everything is all set up for we'll, we'll get ready to load into the game and we'll test everything out. Uh, uh, just one more thing for you guys, like trees, ramps, floors, arenas, stables, all this stuff. Anything that's an RPF, well, not the HUDs, but anything that is a dot .RPF, you'll go into your mods folder. And most of that stuff is RPF, so that'll all go in your mods folder. All right, so we're going to go ahead and load into 5M. If you're looking for a good test server, guys, to test out your graphics packs and shit, um, go to play, type in 5M, and I use the server here, 5M.net, uh, testing server. So we'll go ahead and load into that, and we'll make sure everything works. All right, guys, so we're in the game here. Um, you see a graphics pack looks like it worked good. Uh, spawn on the gun. Okay, so works. Kill effect works. I know it was black um, in the video, but it might be because of the graphics pack. Let's look for some more guys to kill. See if it changes at all. Well, it's definitely not the default one, so it's definitely working. It's just like a different color, I guess. Might be because of the graphics pack, but it's definitely working. Um, oh, what the fuck? Hey, you on the east side road, nigga. Ah! As you can see, everything looks like everything's working. That's pretty much it uh, for you guys. If you need anything else, let me know in the comment section below. I'm, uh, in the description, I'll link the link to the reshade and for the add-ons for the reshade fix.
but pretty much guys that's it uh thank y'all for watching and until next time